Hi, welcome back to my channel. I am Ebbe. Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we are going to making those delicious, yummy, delicious fruit salad that can be used as your dessert or your snack as you might like it so here the list of the fruits i'll use will be in the description box but as you can see it that is english pear that is coconut i'll flex this coconut you see how i'll do it at the end then also i used a uh, greek yogurt which has zero percent fat if you look at the roti there's zero percent grass here you know i always like to keep it healthy okay you can use any yogurt of your choice you know so this i also for sweetener we're using condensed milk or you can use syrup you can add some of them together but i used only the condensed milk so i'll go ahead now to start dicing my fruits in small sizes you can dice as you want but it's preferable since it's a fruit salad for you to dice it in small sizes okay Now it's time to cut the cucumber. Here I remove the seed in between. If you want, you can leave yours, but I prefer to remove it. Okay. Also, I peel the back because the back of cucumber tends to be hard. So it's your choice, but it's preferable to cut off the back. Okay. You see the way I'm laying it, the watermelon first, the cucumber on top of it, just lay it that way. Now this is time for the English pear. I peel off the back of this English pear just to make it a little more yummy, softer and juicy. If you have not subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel at this point. Thank you very much. Now time for the grapes. You might think this took a lot of time. It did not okay. So just prepare it. You will enjoy it. Now time for the strawberries. Naturally, I don't like eating strawberry, but mixing it into this we help me to enjoy it okay so if you don't like it like me mix it into this fruit and you will enjoy your strawberry okay you see i spread it now time for the apple i also went ahead to peel off the back of the apple okay because Thank you. 
Now time for the peach. This was quite hard. Don't mind the way it is looking. That is how it normally looks. Okay. I'm just trying to remove the seed that is inside. And I peel up that, that ugly looking thing. Now for the banana, I did not add it inside because I don't want this to get dark. Now it's time for the coconut. I'll be using this my grater, manual grater to grate it. See the way I'm doing it. Please, this could be very risky, but if you're used to the system, you're used to it, okay? But adding coconut to this took this from level 1 to level 100. <laughs> Trust me, it was very, very yummy. It added a lot of difference. It made a lot of difference in it, okay? So you can try it. It's not difficult. Now it's time to dish. I don't want to mix everything because we did not finish it that day. So it's time to dish it out. Now I added the banana to the one I will be using that day. We are going to be eating that day, okay? So banana is just for the one we'll be eating. So I squeezed in a little bit of lemon into it just for preservative and to balance the taste of the fruits, okay? So you can choose not to do this because it's not going to get dark, but you can still do it to be safer, okay? Now cover and put inside your fridge this stored in my fridge for at least five days now time to mix this one i added the greek yogurt first now the only sweetener i used here it was the condensed milk and look at that it's coming together mix stir stir together mix at this point i tasted this one and it was so yummy oh god and look at that we serve this as our dessert or a, a complete meal thank you so much for watching until i see you all next time bye